Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Mitchell here. In this video, we're going to look at conductors in electric fields. So let's get into it. It starts here by saying that any charge given to a conductor always resides on the outer surface of the conductor. A direct consequence of this fact is that the electric field inside a conductor must be zero. That is, E inside equals zero, where we give the electric field strength the symbol capital E. And this is an important rule that you have to remember, so the electric field inside a conductor must always be zero. Why does this happen though? Why does the charge always reside on the outer surface of the conductor? Well, it says here that the field must be zero inside the conductor, because if it were non-zero, any charges placed inside would accelerate in the field, and move until balance was reached again. This would only be achieved when no net force acted on any of the charges, which in turn means that the field must be zero. This is also why any excess charge must reside entirely on the outside of the conductor with no net charge on the inside. Also, the field outside the conductor must start perpendicular to the surface. If it did not, there would be a component of the field along the surface causing charges to move until balance was reached. So that explains why it happens. A consequence of this is that devices which might be affected by an electric field are enclosed in a conductive material so that the electric field inside it is zero. This is known as electrostatic shielding. For example, the signal cable below has braided, for flexibility, copper shielding to screen electric fields from the signal carrying core. So you can see the braided copper shielding here, and that's going to screen its signals to block out any interference when you're trying to carry data or signals through wires. So electrostatic shielding is one application, but here's another one called the Faraday cage. So this also explains how a Faraday cage works to keep the daredevil in the picture below alive. So a Faraday cage will allow the charge from the lightning to reside on the outer surface of the cage and not travel inside the cage and it will actually just pass down to the ground around the outsides of the cage. So this means that the electric field inside the cage is zero, which means this guy is protected here. That's all for this video folks, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.